this video, discover the fundamentals of clean string crossings on the violin. Hi, I'm violinist Heather Kay. I work with dedicated adult violinists who want to develop impeccable technique and play with gorgeous tone. String crossings are when we play from one string to another. The first place to investigate is actually your bow arm mechanics. Are they truly operating correctly? Our bow arm operates mainly in two ways. We regulate which string we're playing on by the plane or what I call the elbow elevator for each string. Then we also control the length of the bow. So we work horizontally and we work vertically with our bow arm. If these two motions get confused <laughs> and they're not kept separate, you'll most likely have a difficult time playing with straight bows and hit other strings. So let's talk about this first initial operation of the bow arm that needs to be addressed. And then we'll go in to exactly how to play a clean string crossing. As we play the violin, the upper arm needs to be kept still. If the upper arm is moving back, you see the bow starts to go a little crooked. And then just imagine if you needed to have a string crossing here at the tip, or stay on one string, you're gonna have a harder time to control because it's crooked. <laughs> so this is the first place to start, is to make sure that you are truly operating in such a way <laughs> that is going to be conducive for straight, straight bows and to help with your string crossings. If you are unable to play with straight bows, the string crossings are gonna be difficult, plus you'll most likely be hitting other strings. So a great way to practice this is just Nice whole bows, you can even hold on to your bicep here and just make sure you are not moving this part of your arm back. Another great way is to play against the wall. Since I have a door frame here, I can show you exactly what you need to do. So you'll set yourself up with your upper arm against the door frame and then play, play your scales, play your piece. You can still move up and down as you're working here, playing against the door frame or the wall, but you're not gonna be able to move your arm improperly. Now, what I have found is that when I worked with violinists on this, they would want to go <laughs> like this, <laughs> but keep the violin still and And just use that as a reference to keeping the arm, the upper arm still there, okay? And allow yourself to move this direction, but you're just not gonna be able to move back. This is a good way for you to just feel how you should be operating your bow arm. I wouldn't practice too much against the door frame because it could bring in other bad habits, but it's a great way to help you realize <laughs> if your bow arm is working properly or not. That's the first place you wanna fix. The next place, just practicing your string crossings, you want to create those string crossings, create that movement with only the elbow, from the elbow here. Okay, so this is the beginning place to work out. We go from the bigger muscle groups into the smaller muscle groups. So you want to be sure that you can practice and play string crossings with the motion stemming from the elbow. You can even practice every string combination. So you see that I'm on the G floor. I drop to the D floor. Using the 
my uh, forearm here to make the motion. So that's stemming from the elbow, okay? Now, how we play these really cleanly is you need to be at the new string before you move the bow. Remember at the beginning of this video, I said there was two operations of the bow arm. <laughs> we work vertically and we work horizontally. If those two motions get confused, that's where problems start. So I'll demonstrate in the G and D. Down on the G, I get to the D string with a vertical motion. I'm on the D string and then I move the bow. Okay, so yes, I know this is slow, <laughs> but if you're not able to do this properly in slow-mo, <laughs> you're definitely not going to be doing it well faster and in a faster tempo. You have to isolate and really be the master of this at a slow tempo, and then you can increase the speed Otherwise, you're just not going to understand the motion and continue to play confusing the two motions and continuing to hit other strings and have soggy string crossings. <laughs> so important to practice slow. I practice each string combination to get that motion. So as you see, drop to get to the D and then go. Get to the G string first and then move. So you need to get the vertical motion and then the horizontal motion. Now with string crossings, there's so many different levels to this. The beginning here, we are working out the bigger muscle group. So it's just good to be able to get from one string to the next without hitting other strings and be really aware of that and practice that. Then the taking it to the professional level, we go into smaller muscle groups and we need to be able to minimize the motion. So yeah, at first when you're working on your string crossings, you have your G, you have your D. That's a pretty big motion I just made. But we can play on the D side of the G and the G side of the D. It's a very small motion, okay? That is where you're headed. That's where you want to go. But first, you want to get work out this uh, from the elbow, and then we can get into the wrist and the fingers. And then that way, the same idea of um, vertical and horizontal, but this time, it's only from the wrist and the fingers. Now, that this motion here is superb for fast string crossing passages. It's all right here, okay? Because it's going to be really clumsy to play fast string crossings from the elbow. We need to get it in this area. I have an excellent exercise for string crossings that's included in my violin exercise program. It's 52 violin proficiency exercises. I'll leave a link in the description below. Not only do you get the string crossing exercise, you get rhythm, rhythmic scales, hand frame exercises, many more. 52 exercises, one exercise a week that you can work with with video training, and I walk you through to help you with what I have found to be some of the most difficult and problematic techniques that violinists have when coming to the violin. Have fun practicing your string crossings. Ciao!